Apple's been working on Siri since long before Amazon or Google had these digital assistants. But Siri's fallen behind in the last couple of years. It's just not good enough. It just doesn't do enough things. So today at WWDC, in there, Apple made the biggest changes to Siri since it launched Siri. But now in iOS 10, Siri's going to be able to do so much more. There are two big things. First of all, Siri is now everywhere. Siri is on the iPhone, but it's also on the Mac now, where it can search for files or send messages or add calendar events. It's also improved on the Apple TV, where it can do more and more powerful searches. It's in CarPlay in your car. Siri is designed to be really your primary interface to every Apple device going forward. The other part is Siri is now open to people it's never had access to before. Say, if you're Uber now, you can develop for Siri so that when I say Siri, call me a ride, it can go straight through Uber. You can use Siri now to send payments, send messages through things that aren't just the messages app, lots and lots of things. This is what Apple is smart to do, is open it up and say, we have this cool technology, you figure out what to do with it. And that's what developers have been wanting to do for years, and it's what they get to do now. It feels like Siri might have a real shot for the first time in a long time.